general message for May the 4th through May the 10th and of course we are starting with the love bird bonus for all of you that are in a beautiful love bond. Angels and guides we're looking for positive energy for Aquarius. Now if you want a full love reading check the playlist for the month of May or June I'm still working on June. Okay, angels and guides, angels, well, June for your love. <laughs> angels and guides, angels and guides, positive energy, positive energy for Aquarius in your love life for the week. Thank you, thank you, thank you, angels. One more for the fairy dust. Thank you, thank you, thank you, angels. We have abundance in your love life. Yes, 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 with the wishing well. I feel like you're you are wishing upon a star. You really, 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 really have a wish this week when it comes to your romance. I feel like you want more. You definitely want more. You're wishing for more in your love life. Okay, so now moving on, moving on for the general message, Aquarius, positive energy for Aquarius for seven little that's way too many. For seven little days, May the 4th through May the 10th. Angels and guides, angels and guides, may we have, yes, 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 wow, see, okay, positive energy. We're looking for, you know what, Aquarius, there's a lot. Okay, get your coffee, get your tea, because there's a lot of information here. Moving on to, yes, 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 the purple deck, positive energy, Positive energy for Aquarius for seven little days. That is it. Just seven little, seven little days. <laughs> Come on, angels. What's going on for Aquarius for seven little days? Moving on to, I feel like my mama's deck is next. Yeah, yes, yes. Positive energy. And you know, uh, if you're used to watching this channel, you're probably thinking, Dora, Mama's deck is always next. What are you talking about? That's nothing new. Okay, angels, positive energy, please. Positive energy for Aquarius for seven little days. Yes, yes, yes. Whoa. Oh my gosh. You guys have a lot of sixes this week. Positive energy, positive energy for Aquarius. Yes, yes, yes. And Angels of Light deck. I love these cards. Angels of Light. Yes, yes, yes. Angels, what is going on for Aquarius for seven little days? Yes, yes, yes. We're going to tap it off, of course, with the Hummingbird cards. All right, angels. Come on, angels. Positive energy. Blowing in some love for Aquarius. Blowing in love for Aquarius. Angels, Let's get, let's get some energy. Let's get some positive energy for Aquarius. Yes, yes, yes. For seven, I feel like seven little, I feel like, you know what? Let's, all right, all right. I hope you're like, Dora, that looks like madness. <laughs> okay, give me a second, Aquarius. Give me a second. All right, so are we ready? Get your tea, get your coffee because is that better? Okay, it definitely looks better to me. Okay, so major theme Aquarius for the week of May 4th through May 10th is you have the two of cups reversed with the patience and planning, the six of hearts, the six of diamonds, the angel of healing, the three of diamonds, and the ten of diamonds. I definitely am feeling that, yes, your love bonds are there this week. Yes, you are connected. Are they like you would want them to be? Not quite, not quite. Patience and planning. Patience, 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 Aquarius. You feel like with the Six of Hearts that you have been waiting and you have been waiting and you have been waiting to get what you have been putting in. Yes, with the Six of Diamonds, I definitely feel like, you know, the double six, you're just feeling like things are stagnant. Things are not moving forward. With the angel of healing, this is an opportunity for you to heal. Heal thyself. Yes, heal thyself. With the three of diamonds, I feel like you're doing something creative. With the ten of diamonds, you might even decide to, um, I feel like, 
I feel like whatever this love bond is, whether it's romantic, whether it's family, whether it's friends, whomever this is, I feel like you might decide to... No, no, I feel like you might decide to spend a little bit of creative money on um, the situation. But but the definitely with the situation, with, with whomever this is, there is abundance. There's definitely abundance around this, this love um, bond. There is abundance. But things definitely, it just feels stagnant. I feel, feel like you, you're wanting it to move forward, but it's kind of just like flat, if that makes sense, okay? All right, now, when we look at the recent past, we have the Knight of Cups and the Heartache and Loss with the Eight of Spades and the King of Clubs with the Angel of Joyful Recognition, the Queen of Clubs, and the Ten of Hearts. So in the recent past, Aquarius, I definitely feel like the Knight of Cups. I feel like, I feel like energetically speaking, Aquarius, that th that love was definitely moving towards you. Okay, in the recent past, it wasn't moving quickly, but it was definitely moving towards you, right? And I feel like with the heartache and loss, maybe it wasn't moving as quickly as you would like it to. But you had the power, and no matter what, you still had the power, right? With the King of Clubs, because you knew what you knew. Yes, you like you knew. You already knew, okay? With the angel of joy, because you knew, because you knew, yes, with the queen of clubs, another club here, psychically you knew that you would be surrounded by love. Maybe even love from many, okay? All right, now, when we look right here, right now, we have the nine of pentacles. Yes, yes, yes. With the foundation and achievement, with the eight of diamonds and the six of spades, with the angel of grief and the seven of spades and the five of spades. So I feel like in the middle of the week, financially speaking, you're feeling pretty darn good. You're pretty happy. You're pretty content with yourself. Yes, foundation and achievements. You're feeling like, you know, your ends are have been met your needs have been met right with the eight of diamonds yes you do have the power the financial power to do the things that you need to do with the six of spades you're feeling like and you know what you feel like you know i'm gonna have a it's gonna be lasting for a while like i'm gonna be okay for a while with the angel of grief there is a part of the there is an element of i feel like i get the feeling that Yes, things are great for you financially, but there's something that's bringing you a little bit of unhappiness. And I feel like this unhappiness has to do with the seven of space. There's a little bit of negativity um, going, there's a little bit of sadness, a little bit of worry, a little bit of discontent, if you will, about changes, the five of space about changes in your life. It could be about moving. It could be about moving. It could be about getting out and going, right? Those things are your feel like, like financially you're okay, but gosh, you really would like to get out there and move or you really would like things to change right and with these sixes with the main theme it's like ugh, like i want things to move i'm ready to go i'm ready to go things aren't moving especially especially with this coronavirus thing all right okay maybe that's affecting you more than than most okay now well it's affecting us all but maybe it's really affecting you in the middle of the week now when we look at the end of the week we have the knight of pentacles reversed with the destiny card and the six of clubs with the five of diamonds and the angel of nurturing the two of hearts and the ten of clubs so i definitely feel like by the end of the week um financially speaking once again you know well there's resources i feel like that are coming to you right and this is your fate you are destined to receive this with the six of clubs i hear you saying you know what i i'm do this i'm i i'm owed this it's going to change um your finances it's going to change um it's going to change you financially, right? With the angel of nurturing, it's going to make you feel good. Two of hearts is going to make you and all of your love bonds feel good. And I hear you actually talking about this money coming in. Now, when we look at your bonus, you have the temperance card reversed with the two of spades and the tower card with the three of wands and the hierophant card reversed with the queen of cups reverse and the solitude card i told you was a lot the seven of spades the four of hearts the seven of diamonds the angel of sisterhood the nine of clubs you're like dora please with the ace of diamonds the four of clubs and the jack of spades so i feel like in your bonus sector you are you 
you know what you're, you're impatient okay i'm just saying it you are just impatient okay and you you're you're um, and you know what you're trying to make up your mind about something and i feel like it's the tower card you're trying to make up you're trying to make up your mind about something ending out of the blue right like maybe you're even thinking of ending something out of the blue you're looking forward i see you looking forward to the future you're thinking about not committing to something with the queen of of of, of cups i feel like emotionally you've been working a bit hard in something with the solitude card you feel like you you're you're alone i feel like you're definitely alone and you know what with the seven of spades you really don't like it you want to feel secure you want to feel loving loved right with the seven of diamonds you're just trying to detach from that feeling you're ready see it's the sisterhood angel of sisterhood you're ready to talk about this with a friend yeah, and talk you will with the Nine of Clubs. You want a new beginning with the Ace of Diamonds. You are secure that you want this new beginning. You want things totally different. Totally different, okay? So whatever is happening, there is this stagnation. You want things to change, and you want it to change now, okay? So I send you joy, namaste, and much, much love sent your way.